Okay, Bobcats, so in this video, we're gonna go over the respiratory structures found here on the torso model. So the first thing I'll point out is the hyoid bone, which is here. You also have the thyroid cartilage. So what's found on the thyroid cartilage is the laryngeal prominence. So this is also known as the Adam's apple. Uh, connecting the hyoid and the thyroid cartilage is the thyrohyoid membrane, that's number two. You have, uh, also have number four, this is what's known uh, as the cricoid, the cricoid cartilage. So you have the cricoid cartilage, uh, which then, so further along, this is what's known as the trachea. So you have the trachea coming down. And then, so now let's look at some of the um, external, the external organs here. So you have, first off, this is the right lung, this is the left lung, and then you have the three different lobes. So superior, middle, and inferior lobe, and then you have the different fissures. So this is the, the horizontal fissure, and then this one over here, this is the oblique fissure. Here within, on the left lung, you have the superior and the inferior lobe, and this is the um, oblique, oblique fissure that's coming down this way. Another feature you can look at this, this is the cardiac notch, right next to where the heart is. So then if I take the lungs off, both of these lungs, take the heart out, we can then see the diaphragm here. And then if we follow, uh, start back here at the top again, we follow the trachea all the way down, and then it branches into the right and left uh, primary bronchi. Uh, this structure here that's at the very end of, of the trachea, this is what's known as the carina. So this is the carina, this particular cartilage, branches into the primary and then you also have the secondary uh, bronchi which are uh, coming off this way. So it goes secondary, tertiary, and then it further branches into the different bronchioles. So then if you look at this, this is what's known as the hilum. So the hilum contains the primary bronchi as well as the pulmonary artery as well as the pulmonary veins. So the next thing I want to do, I'm going to point, I'm going to take this out, the trachea, and then this is the esophagus, which is posterior to the trachea. And then this is the aorta. So we've already identified the aorta. <clears throat> so that leads me to my next point, which is the aortic impression, which is found here on the left, on the left lung. So this is uh, right here. So then if I take this out, we can now look here at the intercostal muscles. So that's what's found within here, the intercostal muscles. So the intercostals as well as the diaphragm, uh, both of these are involved with uh, pulmonary ventilation or um, breathing. Okay, so that's going to do it for this lecture.